If I was still a child and you give me this soup, I would like you. <laughs> In this video, I'll be taking you to Ebony State to show you a very delicious soup that is eaten and loved by virtually everyone. It's a very common soup. Okay. Everybody is eating it. Adult, everybody can cook it. Okay. Whether you have money or you don't have money, oh. you can cook it and you must sweet. Hello guys and welcome back to Epic Food Review. In today's video, I have come to Ebony State to show you one of the most common soups Ebony State people have. This soup is called granite soup. And today, we'll be watching an Ebonian prepare granite soup the way the Ebonians prepare it. Let's go. Granite soup or granite stew as some locals call it is a soup made by combining raw or roasted granite with other local ingredients and proteins. This soup, which originated from the Madinka and Bambara people of Mali, is eaten in most of West African countries, some parts of East Asia and even in the United States. In Nigeria, the origin of granite soup can be traced to the people of Edo state where it is called Omisagwe and the people of Ebony state where it is called Ofe Ashimoko or Ofe Ogolono. Both is a easy mbo. Everybody cook it. Ah. Yes. Very, very common. Soup. All right. And everybody cooking it in the same way. Oh. In Ebony okay. state. In Ebony state. Even though I feel like the Ebonians adopted this soup from Edo state, the locals still believe that their ancestors started cooking granite soup due to the abundance of granite in the region. I have decided to come to a boiling state to see how they prepare their own version of granite soup and also have a taste of it. I like showing my viewers how they prepare every food I come to eat. So can you show us how to prepare this granite soup? I want to see the step-by-step -step process of cooking it. Yes, of course. Come, let us go to the kitchen. Yeah, okay. I'll show you how to. Yeah. Alright. The ingredients you need to prepare this soup include granite or peanut. You can either use the raw granite or the roasted one. Whichever one you choose is fine. But for this particular video, we'll be using the roasted one. But if you can only find the raw granite, you will have to fry it a little longer in your palm oil during the cooking process. You will also be needing fresh pepper, oziza seeds, crayfish, stockfish, pomo or cow skin, onions, dry fish, oziza leaves or hot leaves, pumpkin leaves, protein of your choice, and ogiriokwe or fermented castor seed, which is a local seasoning and the only seasoning you will be needing. Start by removing the seed coats of the granite. Pound or grind the granite into a fine paste and set aside. Also pound your pepper, oziza seed, ogiriokwe and crayfish and set aside. Put your pot on fire and add to your meat. Add chopped onions, salt and pepper. Cover the meat to cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, cut and wash your pomo and add to your pot. Add more water to the pot and cover to continue cooking. After 5 minutes, wash and add your stockfish into the pot and cover to cook until the meat is done. When the meat is cooked as you like, Bring down the pot and set aside. Heat up some palm oil. Add chopped onions and fry for one minute. After one minute, add the granite and stir continuously till it mixes well with the palm oil. Add your proteins into the pot and fry with the granite for one to two minutes. After two minutes, Add the mixture of oziza seed, ogriope, and crayfish and stir to combine. After thoroughly mixing it, add your meat stock, your washed and cut oziza leaves, enough water to cook the soup, your dry fish, and then stir and cover the pot to allow the soup cook for 15 minutes. As the soup is cooking, wash and cut your pumpkin leaves and set aside. After 15 minutes, Taste and adjust any lacking ingredients. Add your pumpkin leaves and stir very well to combine the soup. Cover your soup to cook for 1 to 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, your granite soup is ready. Alright, let's eat granite soup from Ebony people. The soup is looking very nice, honestly. Mm. 
<laughs> wonderful. Wow, just the first taste and I'm getting a wonderful feeling in my mouth. Actually, you will not get the taste of the granite. You know, when you see the preparation process, how they pan the granite and everything, you will feel like maybe when you taste the soup, you will get the distinct taste of granite. The taste is not there. It mixed very well with all the ingredients, just combined. But I feel like the, the granite gave it a kind of a buttery taste in the mouth. That is so, so amazing. I love it. If I should rate this soup over 10, I think this soup is 9 or even 9.5 over 10. Oh, I'm enjoying myself. This soup is wonderful. Now I know why you said this soup is very sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, that's what I'm telling you. Ah. It's very delicious soup in their boy state. Oh, this soup is wonderful. Little oh. too dread. Too dread like they, it's they, best. I can see why. If I was still a child and you give me this soup, I would like you. Yeah, you your food now. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we have come to the end of today's video. If you love this video, like, share, and subscribe so that you'll be getting wonderful food content like this. And always remember, eat to live while I live to eat. I am Mr. Epic, and I'll see you on the next one.